On Monday, February 2nd, 2015, three years after Officer Richard Hayes killed Romarley Graham in his Bronx home, a memorial was held at the Crawford Memorial United Methodist Church in his remembrance. This year, the family wanted to commemorate the memory of their son through song, dance, and poetry from local artists and community. The amount is well known, $3.95 million, uh, which can never take the place of Ramali Graham. Uh, we would rather not be here today than have this press conference. We would rather not be here today having this memorial service and ceremony and anniversary if the police force was properly trained, if there was proper protocol, and we would rather that be in place than have here and talk, uh, talk about uh, someone's life that was taken way, way too soon. I was at Bull of Myself when I wrote this piece. I love you so much that I decided to recite this piece. At the end of this piece, I guarantee you will promise other peace. Woman is on the water seven papers to eat on the mother of a The same can also be said for blood Crips and MS-13. They put <coughs> working on the capitalism just the point of the will never take away the life of pain that this city caused me. What will take away the pain? It wouldn't take away the pain, but it's cushioning us to see Richard Hayes get fired. Commissioner Bradby asked him to get left, get fired, and the other officer that was involved in the shooting, and let the Department of Justice come in and prosecute him to the fullest to the crime that they committed. That would kind of ease my pain. He won't take it away, but to see held accountable, that would be a start for just not me, the community, and people that know they have a chance that see when this happens again, they are just as, you know, to be served. Despite receiving a settlement of 3.9 million, where Marley's family continues to fight for justice for their son and fight against police violence. The family demands justice for the murder of their son as well as police accountability. Now the family waits for the Department of Justice to indict Officer Richard Hayes as well as the other officers involved. remarkably patient and dignified and carried themselves with grace while waiting three years for justice. Today marks the th three year anniversary of their young son's passing. And we are praying and hoping that the Department of Justice answers their questions. Who was the officer who claims that he saw Romali uh, Graham with a gun in his waistband that we knew he didn't have? Who was the officer who claimed that Romali Graham was running inside his home, which a videotape shows was not the case. Who was the officer who claimed that he got permission to enter the back door? I mean, we know it was at gunpoint pointed to an eight-year-old young man in the first floor apartment. And why did the officers, not one officer, intercede and stop the strategy? Justice. The people of the world will find it surprising, but the Bronx. Will